this week we're talking how I actually play in practice. Last week we had a great par five video and you all absolutely loved it and how I actually play a par five out. The shots I hit, why I hit them, how I hit them and you all absolutely loved it. So thank you so much for that. And if you're enjoying this video, please do comment down below and let me know you are enjoying it. We're talking about summer evenings. We do have them here in Manchester. I know a lot of you have been joking around about this. How do you make the most of going out and playing on your own? Well, this is how. We're gonna use two golf balls. I want you to play drive off the tee, iron off the tee. But also, we're not just gonna stand here and hit driver bombs away. Ask yourself a question. What driver shot does it require? Does it require your absolute gun bombs away? Does it require your low bullet into the wind? Or is it your fairway finder? Right now, I'm gonna play my fairway finder and then gonna follow this on by playing with an iron and play the whole hole out. What score do I make with both golf balls? That would be interesting for a lot of golfers. Playing irons off certain tees may actually favour your handicap, where you get your shots, and actually help you score a little bit lower. It will really open your eyes, this, to actually practising a little bit better and actually taking your game to the course. Far too many of us are range rats, spend too much time on that driving range. I know I've been guilty of that. Let's find out how many people have been guilty. So hit that thumbs up button if you've been guilty of spending too much time on that range. So my fairway finder, let me talk you through how I play this. So I've chosen my fairway finder here because it's not a tee shot that I like. It looks quite visually intimidating. Don't like looking at this one. So I've teed my ball down so the top of the golf ball matches the top of the crown. It's really low in how it actually sits the golf ball. My, my bombs away would tee a little bit higher there. I'm now aiming down the left hand side, anticipating my low fairway finding fade. I'm making some practice swings, which I'm gonna say are gear three to four, not gunned out, really nice and simple. I'm behind the golf ball now, picturing that fade, picturing that fairway finder, and I, I really dominate how I hit that fairway finder from the tee height. See a little bit lower than my bombs away, and it really helps me feel like I squashed that golf ball. Not something you probably thought of with driver before. straight down the fairway, a little bit of letter right on it, absolutely my stock shot. So that's what I want you to do with the first golf ball. The second golf ball, I want you to grab your longest iron. Now, for some people this may be a hybrid, so either your longest iron or your hybrid. I've gone with my three iron, one length. Cheating stick, really, if I'm honest. Absolute cheating stick. Watch the longest iron you carry, it'd be great to hear that as well. So we're teeing that golf ball down now. I want you to really play this hole out. This is if we're really not feeling our game. Can we get the golf ball round? Can I keep this ball in play? Advance it towards the green. And this is a tough hole. So stroke in next five. Most of us are gonna have shots on here. So nine off the tee, hitting the green in three, two put in for two points is not the end of the world. We're avoiding disaster. So I would picture this shot, balls on me towards the back of my stance, weight's gonna be left. And again, really concentrating on making that smooth swing. Anytime I'm playing a shot, like this, I want it on the deck quickly, I want it rolling out. Just like that. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, Alex, I'm a high handicap player, I can't play that punch shot, I can't play long irons. If you're out there practicing, the course is the best place you can learn to do that. Doesn't matter if you hit bad shots. That's why you're out there practicing on the golf course, because immediately you do start hitting good shots, you've got good thoughts and good feelings to take to your next medal, or even stable for the round. Right, let's jump down the fairway and play these ones out. We're at the first shot, the iron shot, and it's a little bit further back than I remember this being. And actually, I've got to move it around the tree here. So, firstly, I'm getting to the golf ball. I'm trying to go through the routine as if I was on the golf course. This is my only golf ball I was playing in a competition. Laser in the flag. Flag is 181. Now, remember, if you've got a shot on here, you don't have to take a club that goes towards the green. You could take a 7 iron, leave yourself a wedge on, play as a par 5, guarantee those two points. Don't take on too much danger. So I've got 181. I've got to fade it around this tree right now. I left myself some work to do here. So actually, I've got 5 iron, but I think because I'm fading it, and I know it's going to go a little bit shorter, and there's a bit of wind there, I'm going to go one more club. 
I've got four iron. I'm gonna anticipate that wind's gonna buffer that ball a little bit. Aiming left with my stance, club face pointing just left of target. I'm gonna swing down my feet line, allow that ball to curve back. I'm gonna not take on that tree in terms of height because I have got a long iron. I'm gonna play some bubble golf right now. And great, this is actually fun. This is where you learn what your swing does, and that's really important. What your swing does, not what somebody else's swing does, not what swing thought does, what your swing does with different shots. Because we may not actually play the hole this way in a competition, and we may actually confirm driver is the shot. Picturing that fade, club down towards just left of target, feet aiming left, I'm gonna fade it around this tree. Oh, one of the best golf shots I've hit all year. Oh, look at that. Right, let's walk up a little bit further. I'm going to put the divot back first and find out where that dry finish. Talk you through how I'm going to play that shot and why, why I'm even doing this. Because I could just go out and just try and shoot the best score of my life. Well, yeah, of course you could, but... Is that developing different shots? Is that developing different areas of your game? No, right now we are. A little bit further down here, down towards where I hit the drive. Again, that was actually a really nice drive. And do you know what? I, you probably find this when you make a smaller, well, smaller, okay, a more rhythmical swing, an easier swing, your fairway finder, whatever it is, actually it goes pretty far because you're more in time, you're more balanced, more centered hit, more efficient. Okay, what have we got left? We had 180 on before. 130. I mustn't have got that iron off the tee before. Mustn't have got it. 130. Into a bit of wind. I'm thinking here, I've got 9 iron, little punch shot. I don't want that wind to get it and fly up into the air. I'm going to keep it down and low in the wind and really just make sure I'm hitting the screen. I think right now, anytime we've got a shot which is like a 9 iron, 8 iron for us, let's try and be a little bit more aggressive. Let's try and go towards this flag. Especially in this situation right now, our expectations of hitting a 4 iron on the green, okay, if we do then great. But if we're not, we're around the green, we look to chip and put. Right now, I think we've got to, whatever handicap we are, get into that mentality of trying to be a little bit more aggressive with these shorter irons. Because if we learn that to be aggressive that way, and we start trusting ourselves in practice, we can take it in play. Back of the stance again. I'm going to feel like I make a hands height to shoulder height on the way back, shoulder height on the way through. Gripping down slightly and weight left. Be the number. Be the number. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. But again, why are we doing this? Why? Come on, Alex, why? Are you all thinking this? Because we're training for golf, working different lies, different situations, different wins. Not something you experience hitting golf balls at the driving range. Really hope you enjoyed this video here on Accelerate Golf. Look ahead to the green. By the way, guys, if you are brand new to the channel, you want to see what I ended up with here, great, stick around because it'll be interesting to see what I make. But also, if you're brand new to the channel, warm welcome to the channel. Please, before you leave, I really would appreciate it if you could join this family by hitting that big red subscribe button. That's not one down there. And obviously, don't miss any of the content. We upload every single day to hit that bell notification as well. So let's jump up to the green. Let's see if the proof's in the pudding. This is where the foreign ended up. Not in a bad situation at all. Remember, if this is a stroke index five and you've got a shot on here and you're behind the tree, like that difficult shot we had to play there, don't take it on. It's hard. Take the 7-9, take the wedge, hit the green in three, two putt for that net par. I can assure you, you're going to get a lot more fun. You're going to hit a lot more greens in net regulation, a lot more points. We all know if we beat our mates. Here we go. Can I chip this close? Go on, get in. Oh. Right, guys, I want to finish this video by just talking through and summarizing this, but also I've got a comment that I've seen that a lot of people have been commenting and I really want to share it with you. So let's summarize exactly why you would do that. One is developing new skills, hitting more shots, and actually putting in some good practice in the area where it matters. We don't do enough of it, we just try and play out one ball and our focus when we go out and play on our own is probably on our score. And sometimes it's hard to get into it enough, into a match, to play Play our best golf. So playing two different shots, drive off the tee, thinking is it fairway find, is it low, is it a long one, and then get our iron off the tee. It's it's the perfect way to develop great scoring. So the comment that I really wanted to share with you was from the armpit trick, and you must be thinking, Alex, what is the armpit trick? And I'll leave the links to that video right up there. How many of you 
you, I'm sort of giving it away here, uh, how, how many of you think about being connected? Now, the thing I think with this is being connected is a way that causes disaster. But I put something up about how to be connected and the right way to do this in the video. And people have been saying, uh, I absolutely love this content, really enjoying it, Alex, Gary Wilcox, Joe Wills, Mark Darby, Ben, Stanley, all you guys have been saying great tip, really enjoy how you break it down the swing for the everyday golfer. That's exactly what I am trying to do. But also, someone else has said here, I would love to watch you play a full 18 holes. Would be awesome. So if it's something that you'd like me to do, full 18 hole course fog, please do hit that thumbs up button and put hashtag 18 down below. Let's see how many of you want us to do that. Thanks so much for joining me on this week's video. Actually, today's video. See you tomorrow.